Jose, Product Development Manager for Kilovolt. Uh, today, I am going to show you how to disassemble the back unit of the Habic cell, how to remove the modules to make it easy for you guys to transport this unit or take it up or down the stairs. Uh, if you guys do need to either install this unit in a basement or somewhere that's not easy to get to, we can remove the modules to make this unit a little bit uh, lightweight for you guys to move around. So we are gonna start by removing the screws on the back of the cover uh, with a simple Phillips screwdriver, uh, either electric drill, screwdriver, whatever you have in hand. Start by removing the screw. And the cover just comes off easily, exposing the four modules. So before we get into the teardown of the modules or the, the removing of the modules, we're going to make sure that this unit is properly shut down. We're going to make sure that the DC uh, breaker is on the off position and we're going to make sure that the digital display on the unit is off by pressing and holding the power button for five seconds. So next we are going to remove all the tie wraps, these little tie wraps that are connecting or holding down all the cables. Uh, so go one by one and just snip them off. And next, what we're gonna do is disconnect the positive and negative terminals to make it safe to work on these units. So using a 13 inch uh, millimeter socket, we're gonna start with the negative. And disconnect the unit. Then the positive. Now this makes it safe for us to actually remove the modules. So we've removed the positive, we've removed the negative terminals, and uh, we've also cut off all the tie wraps uh, to make sure all the cables are loose. Next step up is removing the bus bars. And these are these orange bus bars here. We're gonna remove them one by one. So we just finished removing all the bus bars, the bolts um, and the bus bars. Next is open up this compartment and inside we are gonna disconnect the modules from the actual BMS. So here you will see four cables on the back of the BMS that will be need needed to be disconnected. Just disconnect one by one. And now all the modules are completely disconnected from the BMS. All right, so now that we have disconnected all the modules from the BMS and cables should look like this, let's go ahead and um, unbolt the four bolts that hold down each module and they would be ready to be removed. Now that the module is, uh, all four bolts have been removed, the module just slides out. Just make it sit easy for you guys to just uh, remove it from the actual bank. So when removing these modules, be careful because they are a little bit heavy. Uh, just getting them out of here, are uh, they could be a little bit heavy, could be a two-man job. Um, modules simply just slide off. So 
So now that the modules are completely out of the Habic cell, you'll see that it makes it easier for you to just move the enclosure around. Um, lightweight for you to get it in your desired location. Um, now it's just one man job that could actually move this enclosure. So now that you do have your Habic cell enclosure in the desired location where you're gonna do your install, let's go ahead and install the modules back into the enclosure. One key note is to remember the same way that you took these modules out of the enclosure, it's the same way that you have to put these modules back into the enclosure. Easy way to note which battery goes where is, we will start with the one with the longest cable. Usually the one with the longest cable is the battery that goes in the bottom slot. There goes the first battery. Now we're gonna move on to the second battery. Second longest cable. Third battery. And that's it. So now that the modules are inside the Habic cell enclosure, we're gonna go ahead and connect um, all the cables back to the BMS. Uh, this should be the refer reverse step that we took in the beginning, uh, disconnecting the cables. Uh, so just feed them through the enclosure and back to the BMS and simply just snap them back into their proper locations. Now that we have connected all the cables back to the BMS, we're gonna go ahead and just bolt down the modules, each module individually. Okay, now that we've secured all the modules to the enclosure, the Hab Excel enclosure, we're gonna go ahead and install the bus bars. So next is uh, connecting the positive and negative cables back to the modules. So negative cable over here and your positive uh, cable will be this long one coming from the bottom a module to the top of the actual uh, enclosure or unit. Positive. And you should hear a beep from the actual Habic cell. That means that the BMS is up and running and your connections are made properly. Lastly, is just to make everything nice and neat, organized the uh, same way you found it by zip tying the cables back into, on their tracks. Uh, one zip tie per module. And there you go. That's as easy as it is uh, to remove all the modules from the Hab XL uh, to make this unit easier for you guys to transport around or move around your install locations. Again, Jose, thank you for watching.